Hey everyone, here's a question. What will happen to area of rectangle if there are two questions? First one is its length is doubled and breadth is tripled. Second question is its length and breadth are doubled. So what we have to do here, they have not given the area, they have not given any length or breadth. They are asking us what happens to area. Like they are asking if area is increasing or decreasing. If it's increasing, how much in times it is increasing. So here we're gonna take a area and length and breadth as L and B. Let's start the solution. So let area be A. So we're gonna take area to be A. Area is equal to A uh, or let me just write down capital A, capital A stands for area. So A is equal to L into B where L is length and B is breadth. This is a normal area of rectangle formula. Now here we have a scenario, we have a two questions. In the first one saying length is doubled. So if length, suppose this is a L which is an actual length, the normal length, we are not modifying it. And if the length is doubled, so the new length we have to take here. So new length will be equal to so new length is equal to it's double right so double means twice of it which is 2 into l or 2l you can write down and similarly new breadth will be equal to so here they are increasing a breadth uh, three times it's given it tripled tripled means it is three times more so it will become 3 into l or 3l so sorry 3b so you can see that length and breadth are different here in normally length and breadth are L and B but they have changed. So if length is changed to 2L and breadth is changed to 3B then what will be the area? So this is a new area we are going to find out. So new area will be equal to new area will be we know area of rectangle formula is length into breadth but here length is 2L. So 2L into breadth is 3B. It's actually new length into new breadth, but here new length is 2 and new breadth is 3b. Now multiply the numbers, so 2 into 3 is 6 and we have length into breadth. So you know that length and breadth is like nothing but A, right? We have taken A. So this is 6 into capital A. A is nothing but the length area of rectangle which we have taken in the beginning. So which means you can see that the new area is 6 times more than the actual area. We have taken A to be normal area, the actual area. We got 6A or 6 into A. Which means a new area, if the length is doubled and the breadth is tripled, the area what we are getting is 6 times more than the actual area. It is 6A. So this is the first question. Similarly, in the second one, I am going to erase this part. In second one, they are changing a length and breadth here. They are saying that length is equal to like it's double length and breadth are doubled here double means two times so length will be 2l and breadth will be 2b then again the new area will be its area we know area formula is length into breadth but here new length is 2l so 2l multiplied by the new breadth is 2b now multiply uh, the numbers so 2 twos are 4 into l into b but we know length into breadth is area area of rectangle we have taken in the beginning so 4 into a or you can just write down 4a so if the length and breadth are doubled then the area what we're getting the new area when the length and breadth are doubled the new area is four times more than the actual area okay we got 4a so that's it. This is a simple question. You can expect this type of question for three marks. Now, in case you have other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. I'll try to make a video on it. Thank you so much for watching.